Hi, welcome to Connect to Learn. I'm Steve, and we're getting started with Python tools for Visual Studio. If you missed our previous videos, you can find the links for those down below. This time, we'll be picking up from where we left off last time and having a look at how Visual Studio's interactive debugger can make it easy and almost fun to find the problems in your Python code. Last time, we wrote a program that showed a bouncing dot. And now, we're going to take a deeper look at what it's doing. Normally, when you're working on code in Visual Studio, you'll start running by pressing F5 or Start. This will build any parts of your project that need to build and start running under the debugger. You can press Control F5 to do the same, but without the debugger. And as you can see, this runs slightly faster. But you do lose some of the great features I'm about to show you. Another option is to step in, which is normally F11. This is like F5, but it will pause at each statement. It's a great way to visually see your program running. Whenever your program is stopped like this, we say it's broken or the debugger has broken in. If you want to break in at a certain point, you can click in the left margin and set a breakpoint and then continue. And when execution hits that statement, then we'll break back in. The debug menu has more options for stepping, such as step over and step out. That will step over certain functions or jump straight to the end. While we're broken in, there's a few things we can do. This is a locals window, which shows the current values of local variables. As we step, this automatically updates. And there's also the autos window, which will show the values of variables near the current statement. And there's the watch window, where you can type any Python expression you like. And that will automatically update as well. You can also simply mouse over variables and click in to edit them. And lists and dictionaries are expandable here. And if you do the same for a string, then you can pop out a visualizer, which will let you use special formatting if the string contains XML, HTML, or JSON. This is the call stack window, which we can use to see the function calls leading to the current statement. And we can jump around to see code, autos, and locals at any point. If you want to quickly test a different file, you can right click anywhere in the editor and choose Start with Debugging. When you're running in the debugger and your code raises an exception, we'll break in immediately and let you inspect the current state as if there'd been a breakpoint there. However, we won't do this automatically if the exception is handled. This is mainly for exceptions that are going to tear down your entire process and leave you with just a plain stack trace. Debugging isn't always this easy. And we do have support in Visual Studio for some far more advanced scenarios. If you're interested in looking at those, check out our deep dive videos that are linked down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on Connect Learn.